I know exactly what you are thinking right now. And I agree, this must be my best intro so far. In this video I will show you how you can tie your shoelaces, but not with the regular knot, but with an Ian knot, which takes you about 3 seconds to tie a shoelace. And the clip you just saw was not sped up, so this is the actual speed that I tied my shoes. And this is the regular way to tie your shoelaces, which takes you about 10 seconds per shoe. So you can save quite some time. Anyways, here are the requirements. And I have seen a couple of tutorial videos, but I didn't get them, so I taught myself this skill. So it might look a little bit different than the regular Ian knot. First of all you will grab a piece of the lace and grab it with your pinky and your ring finger. And close it with your hand palm and do the same with your second hand. The more tricky part is to make the loops with your hands. And the way I do it is simply by, by going over the shoelace with my left thumb and then hooking under my thumb. With my right and I will make a different movement which will be going behind the shoelace with my index finger. Or sometimes I use my middle finger. But what you will do then is twisting your hands a little bit and then you will grab the loops from each hand and hold them while you are pulling them away from each other which will make the Ian knot. When you are tying your shoes you will probably first make a regular knot and then you will make a knot with loops. So what you will do then is just pull through the shoelaces as you can see in this close up. So pay attention to how I will do it and then you can try it yourself. Let me show you a slow motion of me performing this. So what you will do is grab the sides of the shoelaces with your pinky and your ring finger and put the shoelace against your hand palm. What you will do next is use one thumb to go over the shoelace and then underneath the shoelace and use your index finger or your middle finger of the other hand to go behind the shoelace first and then underneath the shoelace. Once you did that you will have to grab the inner pieces of the two loops that you have just made and I will show you two pictures that will demonstrate you how it works. Okay, so the red dots in the middle of these loops are where your index finger and your thumb or your middle finger and your thumb will be and you are looking at this as if you were tying your own shoelaces right now. After that you will have to twist your hands and fingers in such a way to create the following and what you will do then is grab the red, the red pieces of the shoelace with your opposite hand. So you will grab the left loop with your right hand and right loop with your left hand. All the seconds that I have saved up by doing the Ian knot instead of a regular knot has resulted in this video so actually so hopefully I can save you a lot of time by learning this skill. Let me know if you managed to do this Ian Nutt and the comment question of today is what is your favorite childhood memory? Leave your comment in the comment section, subscribe to my channel for more videos, go to my channel for all my recently uploaded videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.